Tonight, some major legal setbacks for two of Trump's top allies. A federal appeals court rejecting Mark Meadows' bid to remove his Georgia RICO case from state court to federal court. The scathing rebuke by a panel of three judges undercutting Meadows' argument that the allegations in his indictment fall under the purview of his official duties as White House chief of staff, saying, quote, whatever the chief of staff's role with respect to state election administration, that role does not include altering valid election results in favor of a particular candidate. This is a devastating blow to Meadows' legal strategy seeking a more favorable jury pool or to get the charges dismissed altogether. It also comes as Rudy Giuliani is getting sued again by two Georgia election workers, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, in response to Giuliani's continued false claims against them while on trial for defamation. That trial ending with a whopping $148 million judgment against Giuliani, with little evidence that he will actually be able to pay what he owes. New reports tonight say that Giuliani is likely going to file for bankruptcy. And even while facing financial ruin and criminal charges, his loyalty to Donald Trump is unshakable. You're America's Listen, mayor. Why mayor. are you willing to risk it all for uh, Donald Trump? I'm a man of principle. I've always been a man of principle. Uh, this is a fight of principle. The election of 2020 has to be exposed because if not, our country will no longer be a democracy. Joining me now is Neil Katziel, former acting U.S. Solicitor General. Neil, I mean, every time that man opens his mouth, he's, I see dollar signs just coming flowing out of his mouth. But let's start with Mark Meadows. Big L today, big loss in the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. For those that are into this, William Pryor, Chief Judge William Pryor, a, what some people call a conservative judge on the 11th Circuit, wrote this opinion where all three judges agreed that Mark Meadows is not going to get removal right now. Yeah, I don't think that this is quite the holiday gift, Katie, that Mark Meadows was hoping for. Um, it was, to put it mildly, a total body slam. As you say, this okay. opinion was written by Chief Judge Pryor, who's not just something some people call conservative. He's a legendary conservative jurist, extremely conservative, and he had none of it with respect to Meadows' arguments. And to basically summarize what this long opinion says, Chief Justice Pryor just basically said, look, if you're the White House chief of staff, launching a coup is not in your job description. That's the opinion, plain and simple. And so I'm going to lean into you as our resident Supreme Court guru. You think SCOTUS is going to take this up? Because you and I both know Metis is going to appeal to the Supreme Court now. Yeah, he'll certainly try. I don't think there's any chance that this case is going to be um, something that the Supreme Court's going to grant and rule for Mark Meadows on. This is going nowhere fast. So DA Fani Willis has indicated, though, Neil, no plea deals for Meadows, Giuliani, and Trump specifically. Do you think that Meadows goes to trial, or does he go hat in hand asking for a plea deal? Um, you know, Meadows has always been very cagey about this. So, you know, I do think that this gives the district attorney in Georgia a lot of power over Meadows, and hopefully he will cut a deal, because at the end of the day, um, the truth has to come out, and there's been basically a huge cover-up, and Fawny Willis's strategy has been to try and flip people, and she has flipped certain people, but obviously the chief of staff is in the room where it happens. You know, he would be the most important person, but I suspect that Willis or Jack Smith won't do this without some agreement to jail time. What Meadows is accused of doing is unforgivable and can't be something that is just, you know, get a slap on the wrist just because you testify against Donald Trump, someone who I think most of us all know is already guilty. And along the vein of the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, Rudy Giuliani, that new lawsuit that's been filed by Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman is asking the judge for an injunction to permanently bar Giuliani from lying about them. Let's listen quickly, Neil, to what he said last week outside of the courthouse. I told the truth. They, they were engaged in changing votes. There's no proof of that. Oh, you're damn right there is. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for proof that never came because he never put on a defense and he didn't take the stand, putting that aside. How is all this going to play out for him? I mean, every time he opens his mouth, he defames somebody. And by the way, footnote, that's the same thing that Donald Trump does to people like E. Jean Carroll. Every time he opens his mouth, he defames people. Yeah, I mean, Rudy Giuliani, Katie, was given 148 million reasons to simply stop lying about these women, and he still can't stop himself. 
Um, it's not clear he has any more money. So this isn't about more money. This is about just stopping him from opening his mouth and continuing to libel these people. Um, and, you know, I think that the judgment last week sends a signal that the courts are not going to tolerate this kind of nonsense. And so if I'm Rudy Giuliani or, heaven forbid, Rudy Giuliani's lawyer at this point, I'm quite, quite scared.